Ruby Frankie's mother is seen speaking out and talking about how hard this last year has been for her and her family. Guys, make sure you click the plus sign because I'm gonna have more information on this and this is part one. I wanna make sure you get the part two. Sound off in the comments. I want you to tell me what you think. But as of right now, a lot of her family has been quiet. We know two of the sisters have spoken up, but we haven't heard from her mother and her father. Now her mother and her father have apparently been on a mission trip. That's a big trip that they take for the church to try to go do work in different areas to help um, undeveloped or po impoverished people. And this is a video, guys, and I want to make sure that this is very clear. She is speaking out about a month before Ruby's arrest. And I think, look at what she says, it gives us some good context and insight into what was going on and possibly what was about to happen. And I want you guys to tell me in the comments, watch this clip and tell me, do you hear anything or see anything weird in this? Take a look and we'll discuss. It's hard for me to formulate my thoughts and speak at the same time, but today I'm gonna give it a try. We have so much enjoyed our mission. We've been at a year now. And I think back on the past year, it's just been such a learning experience and a growing experience for both Chad and I. I definitely, definitely miss my family. That was hard to leave them. I don't think that I would have grown as much as I have had I chose to stay home. I think there are, um, I don't know what you call it. I just think it's been a good learning experience for me to be away from home. I appreciate my home more than I did. I think I appreciate my family more than I ever have. I appreciate Chad and and our, I, I loved this time to be able to spend with him. When we got married, we just, we really didn't even have a honeymoon. <laughs> we just got married and moved to to where he was going to be going to school up in Logan and jumped right into, he did, jumped right into school and both of us got jobs and then we started having our family. And we never really had that time one-on-one -on -one together. And I feel like we're getting that time out here in the mission. Uh, we just enjoy going on our walks. We enjoy working at our computers side by side. A lot of the humanitarian work, you wouldn't think so, but a lot of it is done on the internet, on the computers. We have programs that we use and we have a lot of emails that we write back and forth with the people that we're working with and we do contracts and just lots of things like that that you wouldn't expect but we've learned how to how to do it and we each have our little strengths and we each kind of naturally fill into a groove of who does what and I like doing that with Chad I love love whenever we have an opportunity to spend some time with the young missionaries. They just give us a boost. There's, they have so much energy and they are so eager and uh, wanting to, to spread the gospel and wanting to do good and to help people. And we, it's, just, it's, it's just contagious. And it just gives us a, a real um, appreciation for them. Uh, any, anytime we get a chance to like run to the grocery store, uh, there's grocery stores around here, but sometimes they appreciate getting to go to one where they can um, don't have to walk their groceries home. You know, we have a parking lot that they can go there, and it's a little bigger grocery store. So. Chad likes to take them on occasion to the grocery store, but I don't think I take enough time to express myself to you. Uh, I do videos, yes, and I talk to you, but to really just sit down one-on-one -on -one and tell you how much you mean to me. 
Also, this clip was from Honey Doll XO. Shout out to her. I think it just says Ruby Frankie now is the name. She was a former fan and she puts out tons of great content. So go check her out. I've used her a lot when it comes to her clips. And from looking at her and also doing some research, it seems like her mother, at least this is how it comes across, is a really genuinely kind, sweet person. Now, we have heard from family members that the that happens runs within these families and runs pretty deep. So I don't know if that deals with her mother or not. And although this isn't a recent speaking out, it was a month before everything went down. And I, as well as other people, after looking at a lot of the footage from the other family members, think they knew something was coming. They might not have known to what degree, to what extent, but something was coming. And she seems to really tear up when she talks about her family, leaving her family. And I don't know, it just seems like there's a heaviness there where they all know something is about to go down. I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I right here? What do you see from this video? Sound off in the comments, tell me your thoughts and click the plus sign guys, I got part two coming.